Mike here with your news briefing. Alan Tudge denies the latest allegations made by former media advisor Rochelle Miller. Miller speaking out again on their 2017 affair, claiming he was kicking her on the side of her hip and leg when she was trying to sit up in bed to organise a media interview. It comes as she calls for the PM to implement the full recommendations from a report into parliamentary culture, hoping voters will hold them to account at the upcoming federal election. Or perhaps the Prime Minister might show some leadership before that. For it's his job to hold his ministers to account for their unacceptable behaviour. The clean-up continues in Queensland following widespread flooding. There's been one death overnight near Toowoomba, half a dozen rescues and more than 300 calls for assistance. Thankfully, the weather's improving over the coming days. The Victorian Premier is once again coming to the defence of his government's pandemic bill. It shapes how the state reacts to emerging or escalating health issues. Under the current rules, it's up to the Chief Health Officer. Dan Andrews is hopeful the measures will be passed in the Upper House today after a marathon debate in the lower house. In order to keep us safe and keep us open, uh, we have to recognise in everything we do that this is not over. There are still things that have to be done, rules that need to be in place. None of them will be on for a moment longer than they need to be. Uh, and uh, we've worked very hard back and forth, line by line. Let's hope we get a good outcome. Still on COVID and Queensland's recorded a fresh case overnight. A fully vaccinated man who ails from the Gold Coast and may have been infectious in the community for three days. At a new survey has revealed Australians got drunk around 27 times on average last year, more than any other country. Get personalised hair loss treatment in five minutes delivered to your door. Clinically proven treatment for men and women. One pill taken daily. Theharrypill.com.au It's official. Alex Carey will be the next Aussie wicketkeeper when the first Ashes test rolls around next week. He's been confirmed as the replacement for Tim Payne today. The man himself says he's incredibly humbled to be chosen. And the Melbourne CEO reckons Sunday's premiership celebrations at the G will be a chance to give back to Victorians robbed of so much footy over the past season due to COVID. Gary Pert's pen an open letter to fans and club members confirming coach Simon Goodwin will finally get to deliver his grand final speech on the day. It was a notable omission following the D's Premiership win. Clear skies on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 19 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 21. Saturday, more sun, 19. For radio, music, podcasts and news, download the free listener app.